Good morning, guys. I want to do a quick video on our Coleman camper, or 286RK. RK stands for Rear Kitchen Living. Um, it's a 2021 model. Um, been wanting to do a quick video on it, on how we have ours set up. Maybe help somebody out there that uh, has a similar camper. Um, and maybe help them get be organized. I'm not saying that I'm organized, but it's kind of how it works for us. So anyway, here we go. Real quick video. So anyway, this is a 286 RK model. It's got one slide out on it. And the slide out you know, has the uh, kitchen table and the sofa on the slide out. So um, it makes a nice room on the inside with that slide out. So anyway, we get a pass through on here and we'll go over the, we'll the pass through in a second. But uh, it comes standard with one battery. We bought this from Camping World. So it comes with a battery, two 20 gallon tanks, electric jack, um, so which is nice because our old camper had crank jack. So that is nice to have. And it also has stabilizer jacks that are also electric. So we have electric there and we have electric in the rear as well. So, but anyway, here's our pass through on our camper and it's got lots of storage. So just gonna see how the storage is. I have gladiator set up in here that, that I can put hooks and everything on here to kind of keep things organized. And you see, I got my fishing poles and level and stabilizer uh, jacks hanging on some hooks. Got a few old just essential tools in here, pliers, screwdriver. Uh, so that works out nice there. Um, so, and then we have that on that side and the big long hook because I put my power, uh, a power cable on there extra water hose if we need it so it you know it's got a lot of room now i put on here at night because there's no lights in, in here so i'm going to flip this around real quick and so you can see all right so i put a light in here on both sides they're hung up by a magnetic bar that I screwed to it. And it stays in here during our travel. So it is pretty bright and helps out a lot. All right, so that's passed through on that side, passed through on the opposite side. So I've got my water hose wound up in here. We have my inlets hooking up. Um, we have an outlet for spray nozzle there. You know, that's where our city water connection is in there so and then you know it's kind of cramped in here but you can see how i got things laid up in here you know, what we have so anyway so we'll walk around so we're at lit and then back here Where we connect up so it works out good. Um, we've got search bar on here or search suppressor power outlet. And I have it locked up to our electrical outlet. So just in case somebody uh, needs one of these, it gives them a little bit less chance of taking it. All right, this is the rear of the camper. Outlet for the kitchen uh, air when you're cooking. Uh, we've got the Furon S with a seven inch monitor rear camera on here. And uh, look for the video on that, that uh, posted on how I got that hooked up to our system. So, digital lights or LED lights, you know, for the tail lights and marker lights and stuff. So, and this is a side view of the camper. It's got electric awnings, lights underneath it. Um, 
So no slides in this side. All it has is one slide. That big door is where the um, mini kitchen is at. We'll show you that to you in a little bit. But here it's just a walk around on the outside. Speakers on the outside. It's got these nice steps that when you open the door they roll out and they're nice and sturdy. I did put a handle on the cam camper and uh, that doesn't come with the camper. I put that on and I tell you that's nice to have. So the bedroom is in the front of the camper. That's one of the windows. All right, here is the outside kitchen. It's got a little mini fridge in here. And it has a cook top stove. And then I made a <clears throat> place for my Blackstone 22 inch griddle to be mounted and put in here as well. And I'll put a video link to that feature that I did on this thing here so uh, this is a great place for this to be versus the front of the camper where it gets banged around it's kind of it's here for storage and then when we want to use it all we have to do is do that do that roll it out it rolls out And that's what it looks like without the Blackstone griddle on top of it. We made a nice deal to go around it to support the griddle when it's traveling. And so it's secure, it doesn't slide around. And here's what the cook top looks like. And uh, it's, it has a propane connection and that's underneath. There, quick connect, and I have a dual split quick connect that I can put the griddle and the cook top on the same connection. So that's what that looks like. All right, here's the inside of our camper. So here it's we walk in the walk in the door, and to the right is our hallway to our bathroom and our bedroom so it's got you know a lot of room for a camper and uh, so let's take you down through it so first we're going to the bathroom we haven't got everything out but set up but you'll see what it looks like so open the door there's the Vanity, sink, it's got storage down here. All our goodies up there. We didn't need to show you all of our goodies. Oh, you can see them. What the heck? Nothing to hide. And then this is our shower area. And the shower area is it has a lot of room. That's what really sold us on it too. So there is the shower. Still got the stock shower head. We'll probably change that out to a different shower head down the road. But um, you know, it's got lots of room, lots of headroom. You know, I'm a, probably a six foot one guy, and I have plenty of room to stand up in this thing. So and then you know, we have a little towel rod that we hang on here, and then we have a hook, and then we have the famous porcelain seat uh, not really it's the stock seat um, but there's lots of room just for sitting on this thing so there's a uh, sit there and do your thing and take it easy and you get room to kind of just chill out so heat register van in here all right so that's the bathroom Down the hallway, 
if there was something that I was going to change on this, I wish they would, is the thermostat is down here way too low. I mean, this is like for a, a four foot tall person to get at. So I wish it was up higher. So if there's something that I can complain about, that would be that. So it's kind of a pain in the keister. Then we have the bedroom. And um, so to get some light in here a little bit. So that's the one side. And we got closet, closet rod, everything in here. So that's nice. And then it's got a queen mattress in here. And, um, you know, we, we just bought an extra um, little, probably about a two inch foam pad to put on top of here. And um, then we put the quilt to top. And so it makes it really comfortable on top of the mattress that comes with the camper. Probably change that out down the road. But, you know, just for, for uh, camping just for a weekend, you know, works just fine for that. Um, above there, we have storage for other things. We have roof vent, so if you want to put a second AC unit, that's where this would go. Another storage on the other side of the bed. Well, we have it full of pillows right now, but uh, that's what that looks like. So, and then there is a place for a TV. We don't need one in here, but you know, if you want to put a TV on there, you can. It has um, venting, AC venting th through the camper. You know, it does an okay job. If we're going to camp full time, we'd probably change, put a second unit on here. But So this is the uh, storage for clothing. And that's what it looks like. That's what we did in here. You know, we bought this little thing at the container store for our socks and clothes and whatnot. And, and, and you know, it, it provides the adequate space. You know, then we got drawers in here. I mean, they're, they're pretty well built. I mean, you know, it's, it's, you know, does the job. And then we get storage down there. And then we have storage underneath the bed. I won't lift the bed up, but it has, well, let's see if I can get it up. There's what the bed looks like underneath it. So it's got lots of storage for that. So that's that area. On to the front. Anyway, so this is what the camper looks like when the slide is in. So it's, you know, you can get down through the middle of it to get back to the kitchen, but you can't get into the refrigerator. So, you know, is that a deal killer? No, it's not really a deal killer. But, uh, you know, just have to open up the slide if, you know, are traveling and to get in the kitchen. So, you know, not a big deal. The slide runs off the 12 volt battery on here. So. But uh, this is kind of what it looks like with everything stored in for traveling. All right, here's a tour of the main area. So <clears throat> along this wall, we have the TV, the fireplace, and the fireplace does work good. And we got little little storage wick containers there to hold our games and cards and remotes and all that good stuff i mean it's got lots of lots of space we I mean, got up here we got our fans more storage and then here's what it looks like hopefully you can get a visual of this but maybe not but kitchen slides out so there's lots of room. You know, it really is lots of room. You know, it's more of a couple's cabin camper because there's no box in here. There's just one bed, which is fine. <laughs> and, you know, over here is, I don't have it uncovered yet, but we got two recliners in here. And, um, well, you get, you get the idea. But anyway, there's two recliners. So that makes it nice. We got storage up here. What we got up here and then we got more storage above the other side and 
over here is the kitchen area. So this is what kind of sold us too, is that the large area for preparing food and so forth. And then you get this large countertop with a big sink. So it works out great for that. And above the sink, we added in this shelving unit up here to get give us more space for other items. So we picked that up at our local Menards and it really works slick. Here's the other side where we got our plates, cups, and that works out sweet as well. And then over here as we did we have a little cubby hole, we got our paper towels and plates and stuff like that in there. And then you know we've got the traditional microwave, cooktops, oven and stove, and then this really large refrigerator. So I mean that's it's that's nice. It really is. So that's what's looks like in the doors. And then this is area for a little bit of pantry items that we can put in here. So we've got a place down there, a little step stool. So that's really nice. And then of course we have our kitchen table and our storage underneath the seats. And that uh, table does go down to a bed. And I've used it, and it's really, for an adult, it really works sweet. I mean, you can have the you old know, bedroom up there, you got guests, you can put the table down, and it fits two adults. You know, I would be no problem holding two adults. I slept on it, and the cushions are really comfortable. And then uh, we have a jackknife sofa over here. So, you know, if you get a, a kid or something like that, that works good for that because it's a little bit shorter an adult uh, you know if it's a small adult yeah they could fit on here but a child yeah definitely you know jackknife sofa so anyway guys that's just a quick rundown i mean we get storage over here too that's a quick rundown of what um inside our camper looks like so um you know if you're looking for a camper looking for ideas you know this is what this one's laid out like and we really like it you know it does what we want it to do and it may fit your guys needs but just thought I'd show it off and uh, what we kind of did for some of the storage and so forth so anyway if you got any questions or need to see you know any questions put down in the comments or a reply otherwise uh, hope you guys liked the video and uh, we're probably move on to something else for our next video so Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe as always. And I appreciate you watching.